वंस अगेन एवरीवन इन द सेकंड सेशन ऑफ सिविक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दिस चैप्टर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम वे आर आई स्टॉप इन द लास्ट क्लास द हेडिंग ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज व्हाई डू वी नीड ए पार्लियामेंट सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द पार्लियामेंट सो फर्स्ट यू सी दिस ब्यूटिफुल बिल्डिंग this beautiful building is parliament and the major function of parliament is to make laws so all the important laws for the country are made in parliament and uh, in the last class i told you that uh, parliament consist of three part this is the first part lok sabha this is also known as the house of the people the members of parliament they are elected directly by the people so the member of lok sabha they are elected by direct election they are elected by the people and now you can see the picture inside the lok sabha this is a scene inside the lok sabha where the speaker is sitting here and all the other members are sitting in their respective places now we come to the total number of members in lok sabha the total number of member in lok sabha is 545 so you can imagine 545 members are sitting in the house now this is the second house of parliament it is rajya sabha and here the member of rajya sabha they are not directly elected by the people they are elected by the uh, ministers who are already elected some are nominated by the president also and uh, there is a separate procedure for the selection some renowned uh, people they are uh, coming under this category in rajya sabha now total seats of rajya sabha total seats of rajya sabha is 245 now next you can see in your uh, screen is the picture of rashtrapati bhavan it is the president's house this is also known as rashtrapati bhavan and you know who is the president of india at present so you can see in the screen his name is ramnath kovind ramnath kovind is the president of india at present now another person who comes after president is vice president so in your screen you can see venkaiya naidu he is the vice president of india he is also the speaker of rajya sabha now some function of the parliament first function is legislative function it makes laws for the whole country second is executive function it sees whether the laws which are made are followed or not third is financial function to pass the budget fourth is electoral function to conduct elections power of removal it has power to remove the judges and other important officials function regarding the amendment of constitution it can also make the changes in the constitution miscellaneous function other function so these are the functions of the parliament so today we will stop the class here only thank you and have a nice day